we're looking at navigation on Jekyll websites. Um, so here I'm on my bakery store site and I ha already have a navigation at the top. Um, but what we want to do is when I navigate between these pages, uh, it highlights the page I'm currently on. So let's jump across to the code. So in default.html in my layouts, uh, we have our navigation defined here. So we'll start with the basic implementation. And what we want to do is check if the current page is equal to this link here. And then we'll do the same um, and check if the current page is equal to slash blog.html. And if it is equal, we want to add a class of active. And then later on, we'll add styles to the active class. So we can access the current page with page.url. Um, so all we need to do here is add an if statement in liquid um, and check if page.url is equal to slash. Um, so we're checking, is it equal to this link? And we'll end the if statement. And if it is, we want to add that class um, of active and we'll do the same thing for blog.html Now we'll add a style to our CSS, so we'll just open it up and we'll add a um, style for the active class and we'll just give it a color. So now the current page is highlighted in yellow. So if I move across to blog, now blog's yellow. So this works for highlighting the links, um, but let's say I had 10 links, there would be a lot of repetition there. So let's see what we can do about reducing this repetition. So instead of defining what links we want in our main navigation here, uh, let's just do it on the page itself. So I'll open up index.html and I'll add some front matter to indicate I want this page um, on the main navigation. And I've called it navigation weight. Um, so I'm going to give it a number here. And the number is going to indicate the order uh, it's going to appear in the navigation. So I want this one to be first, so I'll give it one. And then I'll go to blog.html, add navigation weight, and give it two. Now we need to use those navigation weights. So I'll go back to default.html. And so what we're going to do here is get all our HTML pages sort them by their navigation weight, loop over them, and then only output the pages that actually have a navigation weight. So let's start off by getting all the HTML pages and sorting them. So I'm going to assign this to a variable called uh, navigation pages. And I can access all the HTML files using site.html pages. Um, then I'm going to sort it using a sort, and I'll sort it on their navigation weight. Now I'll loop over the sorted navigation pages. Only output the navigation pages which actually have the navigation weight variable. Uh, for example, if I had an about page that I didn't want to be in the navigation, then I wouldn't give it a navigation weight and it wouldn't appear here. And now I can output the current page using the same HTML structure um, but a lot of these will come from variables rather than being hard-coded. Um, so we've got an li, then we've got an a, uh, and the href is the page's URL. 
then we want to do our check to see if it's currently on the page um, so we can use URL again um, so p.url is the current link we're looking at page.url is the current page so if that's true we want to add that class of active and we'll output the title of the page um, which is the text that will actually show in the link uh, and then we'll end the A. I'll get rid of the two hard-coded lines and now we have a fully functioning navigation uh, which is powered by front matter in the pages. So the navigation is working exactly as it did before and let's try add another page so we'll add about.html and I'll just add some basic front matter here. Uh, we'll remove it from the page navigation just to make sure it doesn't show, which it doesn't. And now if we add a navigation weight of three, that link appears in our navigation. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.